Hello LGs, this is the lady and I am here today to do a wig review. I, I have been have getting been a lot of compliments on the unit the that I wore in my uh, eyeshadow video. So I wanted to come in and just show you guys the unit that I had on or in that video because I didn't do a review on it and I've been wearing it now for maybe a week and um, it's a really nice unit holds up really well it is a Vivica Fox collection um, a Vivica Fox is a Vivica Fox hair collection all right so Vivica gives you a lot of information about hand stitching um, on the back of her card and it says why choose a Vivica Fox lace front well because you get the deepest more than double deeper and wider than other brands. Two and a half inch of hand tied lace part gives more flexible movement for different arrangements and variability in styling. You also get a hundred percent fully hand stitched from ear to ear. So um, you can do ups, updos and pullbacks and stuff like that on this unit supposedly and one by one strand uh, hand tied technique so the hand tied area on the lace front gives a more natural look because they use the one strand by one strand technique on the lace front so it looks like your own hair coming from your scalp okay and it is a pure stretch cap so this is all that information on the back there and that's what you're supposed to get and you guys can see it's supposed to be two and a half inches of lace in the front and then the one strand one strand technique hand technique um, however when you get units that's uh, only knotted once that you usually get a lot of shedding on those this one I'm not getting a lot of shedding at all and um, I don't know if that's some new technique that they're doing with the 100% hand stitching or not but I know on this unit very very little shedding uh, so this is the tag that came on it this is Vivica Fox as you can see Miss Fox there she looks wonderful absolutely wonderful and the name on this unit is Jessie V or Jesse Five. It, it just depends on. I'm not sure if she's calling it V or Five or the Roman numeral Five. So but anyway, that's what the unit that we're going to review. Or I'm going to review is supposed to do for you. So let's just give her a look and see, and um, we'll see how she comes up. All right. All right. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'm wearing my black. Um, is it Black Barons? Birmingham's Black Barons cap. So uh, if you guys don't know who they are, look them up. That's part of your history. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've been wearing her now for over a week. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks like your regular, uh, normal, everyday uh, heart lace in the uh, heart lace lace front wig but this one is supposed to be a hundred percent hand stitched so if you let me see if I have something really light that I can put underneath so you can kind of see in the front what it looks like when they say hand stitched as you can see you don't see the knots and you see that so it looks very natural when you put it on and it's supposed to have baby hairs natural looking baby hairs on it but um, unless I cut those off I didn't I didn't see those at all on this unit so I don't know if I cut them off when I cut the lace or what but I did not see the baby hairs on it but it's supposed to have a natural looking baby hair hairline so but this is her. She is a deep wave unit and she's in the color 427. Okay, 
So she's about, I would say, 18 to 20 inches long. But let's see how beautiful these curls look after it. I've been wearing her for um, at least a week or maybe right at a week or more. But she's very pretty. And so I will take off my hat and um, try her on. Let me get my stocking cap because I'm not wearing one. And I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm going to try this on. It's your standard cap, other than the uh, stitching. It's just your standard wig cap. It does have three combs in it. You guys can see that. This one here, this one here, and then one in the center here. And then you get about two and a half inches of that lace. And Vivica has her stamp in the center of it as well as on the back. It does not have a comb in the back, but it does have your strap, so it fits very nice and very snug. So you do not need any uh, glue or tape on this one at all. The ear tabs do not come all the way down, so luckily my hair is growing out and my own hair can pick up where it less leaves off. So that's not a problem for me. Besides, I wear glasses and I need that extra that extra room anyway. I'm just going to make sure I have it lined up. Just bringing it down in the back. And also a good way to know if you have your units, especially for those of us who shave our heads, <clears throat> we can uh, kind of forget where our hairline really starts is I do the four finger rule before I shave my head. I know that um, my hairline start, start right at my fourth finger. So this is being number one, two, three, and four. I know that my unit should start right here, okay? And for those of you who have a wider forehead than four finger, of course, you want to um, maybe put your thumb down or just add a finger and just know where to put your lace unit because so many people have their laces and it can be a little bit too far down I mean like this so you don't want that and then of course you don't want it all the way back here either so just doing the four finger rule is generally a good place to start and then work your way either a little bit further uh, forward or a little bit backwards and you should have it in the right spot and so this is Jessica V, or Jessie V. This is Jessie V, and this is her hairline. It's a little thick, but I'm used to the A-plus ozones, as well as my, um, what was my other one? Oh my gosh, what's her name? Fiesta. I'm used to those hairlines now. I love them. So as you can see, the... The unit doesn't come all the way down, but my hair picks up where it leaves off, so it's not too too bad. If I wanted to push it behind my ear, that would be still okay. So it doesn't look too unnatural there, okay? So... So this is Jessie V and she does have like a little bit of a bang here. So you see that on both sides. And I just like wearing her with my side part instead of right in the center. But you can do either way. She does come with some tape and some instructions and all of this good stuff. Okay, and again, the color is a FS427, so that FS is a frosted streak, and this is the streak of frost 27 in the 4. And yeah, so this is how she looks on me. 
a deep wave pattern and she looks very nice um let me see if you guys can see did you see i had on that very light head um very light wick out so this is the parting on this unit and your first track is here so you get the two and a half inches uh, of parting like i said before but yeah, this is Jessie V, a Vivica Fox exclusive from the Lady of Lace. And she is in a 427, about, I will say 18 inches. Yeah. Yeah, so she's about um, 18 inches. So not a bad unit, very pretty. I brought, I bought her from my local BSS, J Wigs here in Charlotte. And what else do you need to know? She is, or she was 40, I wanna say 40, $45, and somewhere yeah, in there. So this is Jessie V, or Jessie This v. is the review on her, and uh, I hope you like her. I'm just turn around and give you guys a full view of her from the side and the back. All right, and so that's my review on Jesse V or Jesse Five from the Vivica Fox Hair Collection. I hope you guys like the review. Please rate, comment, subscribe, as well as favor, favorite this video. <laughs> of course, favorite all my videos. And um, we'll keep doing these reviews. So this is the lady signing off for now. You guys be blessed and a blessing. And happy Easter again. Bye.